All right, well, Luke Voigt has spoken to the media. Let's listen to what he had to say. Yeah, I, I was just a matter of time before it's coming together, but, you know, I'm glad all these guys are swinging well. You know, everybody was bearing out balls today all over the field, so it's a good sign. Um, you know, I want it to happen again tomorrow, and then, you know, everybody get hot going into uh, Tuesday to wherever we go. Thanks. Ken Davidoff, please unmute. Hey, Luke. Uh, Aaron was talking before the game about uh, some of what you just said, just that need to get consistent. And you guys have struggled this year. You know, it's been a bit of a roller coaster in terms of results. Why do you think uh, it, it's been that way this season for you guys? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. You know, baseball's already hard enough. Um, you know, uh, injuries were apart. You know, I think we got away from what we were trying to be. Um, guys are trying to do stuff that they're not, you know, that, that they're usually not doing. Um, I don't know, man. It's just a weird year. You know, 2020 has been a year, weird year for all of us. And, um, but at the, you know, it's part of the game. Um, I mean, that's why we hit 300. Um, it's already hard enough, but Hey, like I said earlier, we need to get hot. And, you know, today was a good starting point for, you know, this, this playoff run we're about to go on. And, um, you just got to trust the process and just, just, just keep going. When you talk about getting away from what what we're trying to, uh, you know, getting away from your plan, is that you talking about hitting approach or? Uh... Yeah, I think it's just your approach, and you know, balls you usually maybe hit the right center, you're rolling over on, and you know, mm -hmm. and obviously the hitting with runners in scoring position was has been a you know, a rough go about it, you know, for some weeks, and you know that's where we need to do damage. Um, especially in the playoffs. I mean, you know, we just can't rely on the home run ball. We need to, you know, sometimes get the guy over, you know, get a sack fly. You know, it's whatever. Uh, you know, we just need to play the game. And it's easy to get away from it sometimes because you try to do the three on homer or the grand slam, and um, it's when you end up striking out. So um, you see to trust it and, you know, you know, make sure you're, uh, you know, ready and know how the guy's going to attack you and pitch you. So. All right. Thank you, Luke. Meredith Morakovich, please unmute. Hey, Luke, you blasted your 22nd home run of the season this afternoon. What would it mean to you to finish the regular season leading the league in home runs? Uh, pretty damn cool. That's, it's pretty cool. That's all I got. Have you, have you, have you thought about that and, and just how personally satisfying would that be knowing the hard work that you've put in? Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm, you know, obviously I'm, been trying to transform myself into a better power hitter and this year was a you know another stepping stone for me and um you know it felt like every time I hit a home run a Jose Abreu hit a home run too so <laughs> you know it was fun and um you know the goal is to keep it going in the playoffs and despite the foot stuff you've managed to stay on the field how have you been able to do that and why is it important to you to be out there every day and not take rest days um, you know, I've always, I've always been a guy, you know, high school, college, minors, uh, I play through stuff, you know, I'm a grinder. I want to be out there. I want to help the team, you know, especially when, you know, we were hurting earlier in the year and, um, I had to, I had to do whatever it took to be out there. So I was making sure I was getting plenty of treatment from all of our trainers and, you know, trying to stay on top of it so I could play through it and not be like, you know, killing me. So Hopefully I'll, uh, you know, it'll get feeling better in these next couple of days and, um, you know, won't have to worry about it in the postseason. Thank you, Luke. Tom Merriam, you have the next question. Luke, are you going to be following your closest competitors in the home run race tonight and perhaps even tomorrow during the game? Um, I'm not really worried about that. If I win it, I win it. I'll, but, I mean, I'll be watching those games for sure. I mean, we still have no idea who we're going to play. So, I mean, there's – a guy for Chicago that's in those games. So, I mean, I'm sure I'll be seeing it, but there's also a lot of college football on the night too, so I'm going to be watching that. <laughs> uh, Christy Ackert, you have the next question. Hey, Luke. Uh, before the game, Aaron Boone was saying that, you know, once you get a home run, they're going to come in bunches. Yeah. So what was it when Tyler Wade hit that home run? What, what was the feeling like, and why do you think it kind of unleashed the offense for you guys? Yeah, if, and that's what makes this lineup great is I feel like we're always one swing away. We just need to get, like, you know, that, that one to get us going. And it doesn't always have to be a homer, but that was huge. You know, Tyler Wade, and obviously a guy that's going to hit for a lot of home runs, but um, big spark. Um, he's a spark plug in our lineup, and it, it was nice. And, you know, like you said, it kept the lineup going and moving, and boom, all of a sudden we had 11 runs on the board. So 
um, it just makes it, you know, we put some pressure on the pitchers, and that's that's our goal in this lineup is to, you know, make them have to make pitches with runners in scoring position, and, you know, we got to do our job to get it done. So Boyd could win a home run title. DJ LeMay.